the former ABA champion, Wayne Alexander. At the official weigh-in, Webb scaled 11 stone, three and a half pounds, and Alexander, 11 stone, two and a half pounds. Your referee for this contest, Mr. Tony Walker. So, two guys who are not just undefeated, but 100% records. Two out of two for Wayne Alexander, one inside the distance. And for Jim Webb, four out of four, all of them on points. Both with prodigious amateur records. This looks to be a, an exciting pass here. took the second one, that was a double left, took the second one, a little bit of power behind it. Well, I think Alexander's going to have to solve out this kind of southpaw stance. Uh, Webb's kind of playing with the jab, but he's kind of messing up. Alexander's setting himself up to try and do something, and that jab's coming out and annoying him. Alexander in the blue trucks had an impressive start. He beat Andrew Jarvis in three rounds at Derby in November. And he has the reputation of being a big puncher. Went the full distance though with Paul Murray of Birmingham. I think Alexander wants to spend uh, the first few minutes just uh, getting to grips with the southpaw Jarvis. An awkward one. And he hasn't solved it out just yet. Good right cross, which found the target. <laughs> Alexander's trying to do it the hard way. He's trying to blast way about, and uh, Webb's fairly tough. I don't think uh, they're the right tactics. A couple of good left counters from Webb. Alexander just making too many mistakes at the start of the round here. Webb keeping that, just that little bit more compact. There's some blood now coming from Alexander's nose. He just hasn't made head nor tail of Webb in this first round at all. He made so many mistakes in the first minute or so. And he hasn't changed, he's still taken far too many punches. And that right lead is becoming the dominant factor in this. So I think Alexander was trying to, to left hook over the southpaw lead in the first minute, and it, it was too early, he hadn't found the range, and he was getting thumped with the counter punches. And this could turn into a fairly grueling night's work for him. No doubt that it's Webb who's taken the early initiative. Great party. Me and the whole Simpsons are the only pair here without... There's Jim Webb of Belfast who had a good first round against Wayne Alexander. the trouble yeah well uh, Alexander left himself far too often far too often good man in his corner Jimmy Tibbs I think he'll be telling him just to calm down settle down get into this fight oh, that's, that one got through. that's the punch he's been looking for all the way through that left hook He's done really well to get up, but how fit is he? Tony Walker looks into he his hasn't eyes. He recovered, Simon. He has not recovered. He is still badly stunned. He's going to have to grab on for dear life here. That was the left hook that Alexander was looking for, right? From the first bell, and he's gotten with it now. It's all over. And quite right, too. Jim Webb looks up, and he's pleading now to carry on. 
but he was wobbling all over the place. Big punches, there's no doubt that this fella can dig. Well, you have to give full credit to Alexander because he had a, a very ragged first round. If he take a lot of shots, things seem to be going against him, but he stuck with the task. He reckoned the left hook over the South Pole lead would do the job, and he did it in the second round. He maybe tried to do it a little bit early in the first round and he get caught with too many punches, but the finishing punches there in the second round were first class. And here's the first knockdown. Look at that. See, as soon as that punch landed, everything left Webb. He had nothing left. He did very, very well to recover from that and get back on his feet again. But full power into the punches then. Right hand. See, when they pitch forward onto their face, normally that is the end of the night's work. But Webb managed to get up again and get himself back into the fight, but not for long. He really did well to get up, but... Uh... He had nothing this. left. No, it was yeah, no he reward. hadn't recovered, Simon. He hadn't recovered from that knock knockdown punch. Very few people would have done. And it was just a formality. Alexander finishing the job. And he certainly has an instinct to finish the job, doesn't he, Alexander? He knew that he had the fellow rocking. Yeah, and after a rocky first round where nothing went right for him, one punch turned the whole thing around. And that's a pretty impressive scalp to have in your third professional fight. The fellow who won the Commonwealth Games gold medal in 94 unbeaten but Alexander has stopped him in two ladies and gentlemen uh, after 37 seconds of the second round the referee has stopped the contest Kim Webb in no position to continue the winner Wayne Alexander yes, it was a very different second round from the first Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'd like to show your appreciation to Jim Webb. Well, you have to give Alexander full credit. Uh, it wasn't handed to 